Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's November 27th, 2019. It's been just under a week since Elon Musk revealed these the the Cybertruck that hopefully within two years I'll have my hands on my on my truck. Uh, but it isn't really a truck. It's a multi-function utility vehicle. And so I want to create a series of videos that shows the way that I want to change my life and change our habits around here so we can be more environmentally responsible and create a much healthier and more cost-effective system for doing the multiple functions that we have here on site. So those of you who haven't seen our channel before, I'm into gardening and farming and building, creating. We, we're, we build a post and bean passive solar home so we, we we, we utilize very little energy. We do use a little bit of wood during the winter months, but not very much. We, we have a large photovoltaic system, so rack-mounted uh, solar panels. We have a backup generator. I see this Cybertruck as being a, able to help transform my life here on site without a tremendous amount of additional expenditure. So what do I mean? In this video series, what I wanted to create is ideas and opportunities for all of us to think together about how we can see the the multifunctionality of this this cyber truck to use on a homestead this is a demonstration site so i'm hopefully going to make some modifications here where we can utilize that system here's an example behind me is my north star 37 ton uh, wood splitter so we have lots of dead trees that I take down every year. Lots of them go into the Who culture pit system so we can capture and store energy and sequester carbon and build soil with that system. But one of the other big things that we do is we do go ahead and cut up some of the firewood so during the winter time and those really long uh, uh, overcast days here in central New York, well, and the snow-covered solar panels, we may not be generating a lot of electricity and we may uh, supplement our heat source by burning a little bit of uh, wood in our wood stove, a small Yoda wood stove. And there's videos about that if you want to uh, uh, search our channel and all. But one of the things I want to do is talk about how we're, I'm planning on modifying the equipment that we already have and hopefully Elon can help us with this by utilizing uh, equipment that we already have and utilizing some electric motors that we can take advantage of using the 220 and the 110 outlets that are going with the Cybertruck. So I like bringing my log splitter up to the areas where I've dropped, dropped some of those dead trees, cutting them up with my electric chainsaw. Now before, I had to bring my utility vehicle up with my uh, battery pack and plug into it with an extension cord to, you, to cut it up, or I'd use my battery-operated chainsaws. I'll make another video about that and how that's going to change in the future using the Cybertruck. But right now, this 37-ton um, uh, log splitter or wood splitter is actually uh, powered by a Honda gasoline engine. And something I absolutely hate about this is doing all the maintenance on it, changing the oil each season. I do still have to change the hydraulic fluid every few years and change the filters. But I can't stand the gasoline engine because we live in an area where the winds can come around and whip and, and I'm breathing in the, uh, the fumes from this internal combustion engine when I'm working here. So I'll bring this out. And I used to be able to handle it and spend a good eight, 10 hours splitting wood in a day, but those fumes get to me and they're carcinogens and they contribute to the emissions that, that are so dangerous for our environment. So by potentially replacing this gasoline engine, which it just has a side shaft mount that, that just drives a hydraulic pump, and in the axle down there is a hydraulic reservoir. So that pump takes the, takes the hydraulic fluid uh, that's shaft driven and it just propels it through and you know, pushes that hydraulic cylinder which splits the wood. So wouldn't it be awesome if we could take electric motors with a side shaft mount that, that 
uh, Elon comes up with or someone else comes up with that we can just remove these gasoline engines, bolt on the new electric side shaft motor that's powerful enough to drive these uh, hydraulic pumps and then we're not putting more emissions into the atmosphere. We're not breathing in all of these carcinogenic uh, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons or the PM2s, however you want to describe it. They're just nasty for us. They create inflammation and they create the potential for uh, mutations that can cause cancer as well or respiratory disease. So without going on any further about this, this is something that I hope that other people will start thinking about. So I have a semi-trash pump that pumps water from basements or could pump, and we use it from pumping from a pond system. I hope to talk about how we'll be using this for uh, uh, using only the electric power that we generate on our solar panels to power the Cybertruck that'll power motors to do all of the other things here on site by replacing these gasoline engines. We'll use water pump systems for irrigation. We'll be using water pump systems for using our compost tea to do foliar sprays as well. As well. We'll be using replacing the, ga the gasoline motor that drives our wood chipper as well. These things I use as, as little as possible because I can't stand the emissions and I don't like the noise, the emissions, the maintenance, and the short uh, lifespan that these pieces of equipment have as well. So I encourage you all to think about some of these things. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave any comments or suggestions that you, that you like in the description below. Think outside the box. Think about how this can change our lives. This, this is, this, Cybertruck is truly a multi-function utility vehicle. It's not just a pickup truck. It's not just a, an, a, an amazing piece, piece of technology and software updates and all. It's going to change my life and I'm super pumped about it. Thanks so much for watching folks and have a great day. Bye bye now.